The video blending matrix is three signal mixers behind one panel. Each signal mixer has five different inputs and two different outputs. Let's start by looking at the sum output of channel one and into it we're going to patch into the A1 input, our external video. There's three things that we can do to this signal and put into A1 represented by the knob here and by the switch here. Right now we have the switch in minus N mode, but you can also go into one minus N mode. Um, if we turn it to the right though, that doesn't really matter where the switch is. This is just the gain of that signal. So we're adding the signal to the mix as we turn the knob to the right. If we turn it to the left, we're going to be subtracting it from the mix. We don't see any output because the output is below 0% right now. If we turn the switch to 1 minus N, turning the knob to the left is going to add a 1 volt bias to the signal as it subtracts. So that's going to give us inverted video because we're subtracting from white instead of adding to black. In minus N mode, you would be able to see the effect of the signal as it subtracts from another signal. For example, let's patch in this video oscillator and add that to the mix. So now we're subtracting from the brightness of the video oscillator's output. If we add to the mix, we're adding to the brightness of the video oscillator's output. So as you can see, you have four identical inputs to the one that we just looked at, A, B, C, and D. And they're in these channels here. There's also a direct input represented by the plus sign here. And that just passes the signal straight through to the output. So if you wanted to chain multiple video blending matrices to each other, you could use these inputs to pass the outputs of one to the inputs of the other. Next, let's look at the absolute mode output. The output we were looking at represented the sum of all the input signals after being processed by their various input controls. The absolute mode output is going to be the absolute value of the sum. So any signals that are negative, that is below 0%, are going to be inverted to become positive signals. So as we turn the knob to the right, it's going to add that signal to the mix, and the output's going to look just the same as it would on the sum output. But if we subtract from the mix, we're going to see the same thing. The reason why we're seeing the same thing on the absolute output is because those signals below zero are getting inverted. Now, where this gets um, useful is when we're mixing multiple signals together to change the crossover point that that happens. For example, if we switch um, our second input here, 1B, to 1 minus N mode, that allows us to use this knob as a static 1 volt bias control if we turn it to the left. Since we're subtracting our video from the mix, if we add a one volt bias to that, it's going to change the crossover point that solarization occurs. So if we look at it at about halfway right now, we can see that half of the signal is inverted and the other half is not. So in this case, it's the, um, it's the darker half of the signal that's inverted. Now since any of these inputs can accept any type or frequency range of signal, we could patch in, for example, an LFO. That's slowly changing that crossover point. So that would be a basic sort of voltage controlled solarization. We could also insert video oscillators. And those are going to further adjust the solarization effect.
So you can see the video sweeping its solarization based on the amplitude of that oscillator. And finally, we get to the reason we have three mixers in one module, which is uh, cascaded color matrix configurations. You can see if we patch into any of these first channel inputs, those inputs are then passed along, as shown by the arrows, to the second and third channel inputs simultaneously. So that means that these same signals we have patched into the top here are being sent to the other mixers, but with their own controls. So in an RGB matrix configuration, we can patch the absolute outputs of channels two and three, and we could play with all the different color mixing all day long.